Praise God. Hallelujah. Tuesday evening worship service. I am recovered. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hello, beloved church family. My name is Joey Karangian, and I am recovered through the blood of my Lord Jesus Christ. <laughs> Praise God. Rejoice. Hallelujah. Now introduce yourself, beloved. Hello, beloved of God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Isn't it, isn't it such a blessing to know that God is on our side? Amen. Can you say that with me? God is on my side. Hallelujah. And it's all because you freely received Lord Jesus Christ. You opened yourself up. Amen. You've repented. Praise God. You've repented. You said, Father, I've sinned against you. Father, I was disobedient. Father, I did something that I wasn't supposed to. Father, forgive me. Father, help me. Father God, heal me. Hallelujah. I need you, Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, you are Lord and Savior. Lord, help me. Lord, save me. Lord, heal me. Lord, bless me with your presence. Amen. And as you know, beloved child, Holy Spirit, glory to God. Hallelujah. Holy Spirit just moves right in. Amen. That very next breath. And it's for all of eternity. Amen. Glory to God. So in a moment, we're going to pray. Praise God. We're going to open up in the, in the Lord's Prayer. And uh, we have a lot to go through this evening. Praise God. A very special worship service. And every, every one of them, praise God. I know you know this. If you're rooted here in Open Arms Community Church, amen. If you've been faithfully following through the, the worship services, through I Am Recovered, hallelujah. Going through your workbook, being transparent with God as you go through your worship workbook, amen. And, and as you're transparent, as you're writing things down, as you're journaling, praise God, as you're going through the devotionals, as you're just speaking with the Heavenly Father and Holy Spirit in you through Christ and only through Lord Jesus Christ, that when Holy Spirit moves on you and, and exposes things through agape, amen, that, that God give you the power through Christ to just call on Holy Spirit and say, Holy Spirit, you showed me and I don't want it no more. Father, bless me with wisdom. Bless me, Father, with an anointing to overcome. Hallelujah. And glory to God. God does it every time in a beloved child of God. Amen. Are you a beloved child of God? Hallelujah. I know you're a beloved child of God. Hallelujah. Praise God. And thank you so much with all my heart. Thank you so much for blessing our Father God in loving him first with all your heart, soul, mind, and with all of your might, with all your strength. Amen. And the reason why we, we stress this is the only one that can through you. Say it with me, through me. His name is Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit has to be in charge of the temple of God. Amen. Holy Spirit has to. That's why Lord Jesus Christ left heaven and come to this earth, to this fallen world, to save us. To pay for that price. And who did he pay for? He paid for your salvation. But above all that, above all that, he paid for God to live in you and through you for all of eternity. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's just give God praise. Amen. Hallelujah. So as many of you know, and praise God if this is your, your, your first night uh, worshiping with us. Hallelujah. We encourage you to go to IamRecovered.online. I am recovered dot online and there you will find all of our past lessons praise God and um, praise God just bless God and I am so excited beloved child of God in what Holy Spirit is going to do through you in the mighty and holy name of Lord Jesus Christ amen so praise God speaking and worshiping our Lord Jesus Christ as we do every Tuesday evening we don't do this religiously we don't we rebuke that we do it because Lord Jesus Christ, agape, who is agape? Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Father, Son, Holy Spirit taught us how to pray. And this is how we're going to open up. And after we say the Lord's Prayer, pray with me. We're going to open up in prayer as we always do in every worship service. Amen, beloved church family. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Let's go. Matthew chapter 6, verse 9 through 13. Let's pray. Our Father in heaven, hello be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we also have forgiven our debtors. 
and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Holy Spirit, help us. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, we pray. And all God's beloved said, Amen. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, as we plead your holy and precious blood, we thank you, Lord Jesus Christ, that we are eternally yours. We thank you, Heavenly Father, that you bless us with the name above every name. Your name is Lord Jesus Christ. And Lord Jesus Christ, thank you that you blessed us with your salvation, with your peace. And Holy Spirit, we know that you are our God and you live in us for all of eternity. So Heavenly Father, as we move forward in your worship service, in your anointing, Holy Spirit, once again, Father God, rebuke Joey, rebuke any man on this earth, Father God, rebuke him, because Lord Jesus Christ, you're the only one that has all the glory, all the honor, all the praise, and it's only through you, Lord Jesus Christ, that Holy Spirit, you are our teacher. Holy Spirit, teach me. Holy Spirit, bless me with wisdom. Holy Spirit, use me as a mouthpiece. And I thank you, Father God, that for all of eternity, we sing you praises. For all of eternity, Father God, we worship you. For all of eternity, Father, we live abundantly through you. And we just thank you, Father, and it's in Jesus Christ. Holy and precious name we pray, and all God's beloved said, Amen, hallelujah, praise God, rejoice, hallelujah. So, glory to God, let's just give God praise, hallelujah. We are now in step nine, amen, and step nine is overcomer, hallelujah. Now, step nine being overcomer, we have to keep in mind, yes, there's a lesson breakdown in every step, but the principle, say that with me, principle, the principle that Holy Spirit Hallelujah, say his name, Holy Spirit, the principle that God will work through you and through me every time, hallelujah, every time, is the principle of this lesson, this, this step. And what is that principle? Praise God. I don't know if you could read it there, hallelujah, but it is called existence. Hallelujah. Say that with me, existence. The principle in every step of I am recovered. See, the step is just to give us a general outline Amen. Order. Can you say that with me? Order. Because God is a God of order. Amen. And for any beloved child, hallelujah, any beloved child of God, praise God, because we are all God's children. Hallelujah. We are, we are all. You have disobedient children. Amen. They know they're loved, but they don't want nothing to do with God for now. And I have to speak life for now because Holy Spirit is working on them. Amen. Glory to God. And Holy Spirit does not give up. Praise God. And then you have us. Say that with me. Us. And us is obedient, beloved children of God. Amen. Hallelujah. We have stopped. Amen. We, we looked at Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Eyeball to eyeball. And we said, this glorious day I choose to die in you. Amen. Hallelujah. I choose. I choose God. I choose my Father to die right now in you, Lord Jesus. And Holy Spirit, now that you give me the next breath, as your beloved child, I will live this life in obedience unto you, hallelujah, worshiping you, giving you all the glory, all the honor, all the praise, and Father, you will live abundantly through me as your temple, amen? Do this with me, beloved church family, as your temple, hallelujah, say it with me, I am the temple of God, hallelujah. So once again, step nine, overcomer, the principle that Holy Spirit will, 100% guarantee, you're faithful in your worship, amen? You're faithful in your worship. You, you, you spend time with God Almighty. You are thankful for Lord Jesus Christ. Every moment, of every opportunity, of every thought you can possibly do, glory to God, Holy Spirit promises that this is the principle He will work in your life. Glory to God. And we are now in lesson 21. And lesson 21 is believing, amen? So in step nine in Overcomer, praise God, we're going to open up in 1 John chapter 5, verse 5. It reads like this. Who is he that overcometh, don't you love that in King James when, when the words say that? Overcometh the world, but he that believeth. Amen. Say that with me, believeth. Hallelujah. <laughs> you guys are so, you guys are such a blessing, so funny. That Jesus is the Son of God. Amen. There's no if, 
ands, buts, there's none of that. Lord Jesus Christ is the Messiah, the Holy One, God's beloved, only perfect Son. Amen. God's perfect sacrifice. Hallelujah. So the, the, the lock that the enemy wants us to just struggle with, right, is why surrender? Why let go? Right? Why surrender? Why let go? You know, why give up? Why give up this world? Right? Why give up? And the key that unlocks that, say it with me, is overcomer. Amen? When, when, we, when we realize that this vapor of a life that we live is no longer based on our strength, right? Our wisdom, right? Our faith. No. When we completely surrender to God Almighty on that glorious day that you got saved, hallelujah. Now I know that there's going to be many that have not received Lord Jesus Christ. And glory to God, I pray in Jesus' name that as you listen to this worship service and you feel the presence of Holy Spirit just knocking on the door of your heart. You know, there's some of you that just break down crying in tears right now. That's Holy Spirit. God is knocking on the door of your heart. Will you just allow Lord Jesus Christ to come in? Will you just say, I make you my Savior, Lord Jesus Christ. Forgive me. Forgive me. You may be in, the, in jail right now for this momentary season. Listen. Listen. It's all right. God knew exactly where you were going to be. Amen. God is not judging you. Right? God loves you. Surrender your life to Lord Jesus Christ. And as you surrender, watch what God is going to do. Not only where you're at. Like I said, you could be in jail. You could be in the hospital, right? Or you could be on, on the mountaintop right now, right? You, you, you could be in your home or in a vehicle. Wherever you're at right now, beloved child of God, Lord Jesus Christ is asking you, will you open yourself up? Will you allow my Holy Spirit to live abundantly through you and allow God Almighty, agape, to take control, amen? I pray you do that in Jesus' name. Because, see, when we surrender completely, we know, amen, I know, Joey Karangan, I know, as we demonstrated earlier, that I died in Lord Jesus Christ. That in my surrender, when I called on the name of Lord Jesus Christ, I said, Lord Jesus Christ, right now, on this glorious day, in this glorious moment, Father, right now, I die in Lord Jesus Christ. I surrender. And the glory of God is, I already took that breath. The glory of God is when you take that breath, Holy Spirit, say his name, Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit is the one sustaining us, amen? Holy Spirit is the one that blesses us with his breath. We are now God's property, amen? And now, Father, God will live an abundant life through you and through me, what we call victorious living, amen? Say that with me, victorious living. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So we understand now that the principle is existence. And this is what Holy Spirit wants to say, and this is in your book, In I Am Recovered. Existence is for, say that with me, God's glory. Existence is for God's glory. This means that as I live this life now, I no longer live this life alone, away from God, disobedient. I now live this life, amen, in the back seat. And now Holy Spirit is in control of this life. Holy Spirit is control of this marriage, of this house, of this, these children, of this church, amen. Holy Spirit is in charge of, say it with me, everything, amen. That's beyond everything now when you say everything, hallelujah. Holy Spirit is in charge of, praise God, everything. To stay focused on him through, say that word with me, through, to stay focused on him through a life of worship in Holy Spirit and the absolute truth in who Lord Jesus Christ is. So before we move forward, Holy Spirit wants to ask you, beloved child of God, who is Lord Jesus Christ? Amen. Who is Lord Jesus Christ? Hallelujah. Many of you, praise God, many of you, hallelujah, I could hear all, many of you, praise God. I can hear millions of people. Amen. I can in Jesus' name. All of heaven rejoices. Hallelujah. All, 
the great I am, the Alpha and Omega, hallelujah, the only begotten Son, the perfect sacrifice, hallelujah, the healer, the blesser, my provider, my redeemer, amen? I mean, just all, all this, right, my Savior, hallelujah, the great physician, the great I am, hallelujah, my shield, hallelujah, my faith, hallelujah, my lover, right, my protector, amen, hallelujah, I could just hear all, and glory to God, hallelujah, hallelujah. Now you heard all those, amen, of the great I am, who Lord Jesus Christ is, praise God. But notice that there's something different when you hear it, right? When you know that, right? When you believe that, amen? Notice that there's a difference when you believe that or, or I pray, say with me, I pray, I pray that I believe in, hallelujah, I believe in. And this leads us to this lesson, hallelujah, 21. Say it with me, believing, praise God. We're going to open up in the scripture, and this is the only one we have other than what we just discussed, praise God, here in 1 John 5.5. 5. Once again, Holy Spirit wanted us to rewind and read this again. Who is it that overcometh the world, but he that believeth that Jesus is the Son of God? Amen? That you believe with all your heart, with all your mind, that Lord Jesus Christ, you left eternity to come to this fallen world. You left perfection to come. You have always been, you are Alpha and Omega. You are the only Son, the only perfect one, God Almighty. And you came. You became flesh through a virgin birth, and you lived a perfect life, fulfilling everything that you said from the beginning. And when you accomplished everything in fulfillment of what the scriptures said, you laid it down at the cross, being perfect. And as God's perfect sacrifice, I receive you, Lord Jesus Christ, for you are mine. Amen? Say that with me. You are mine. Hallelujah. And I love that because when you have this life-changing revelation that you are sold out, no matter what, no matter who says what, no matter what person preaches what kind of message, no matter what religion or what cult tries to tell you otherwise, you are sold out. Amen? Completely sold out that Jesus Christ, you are perfect. You are my Lord, my Savior. Hallelujah. You are agape. You left heaven. Amen? You came here. You died. And on that glorious third day, Father God, because my Lord is perfect, your perfect son, your only son, you rose him through the power of Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit, because I died in Christ. Holy Spirit, you resurrected me. And glory to God, if anybody does not believe that, if anybody tries to come against that, why in the world am I still standing here speaking to you right now? Amen? Why? Why are we surrounded by brothers and sisters, beloved children of God, that died in Lord Jesus Christ, and Holy Spirit now is living in every beloved child of God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Woo. Hallelujah. Rejoice. Give God praise. Amen. Let's just give God praise. Hallelujah. Praise God. So we went over the principle of existence. Glory to God. And now we are in John 20. John 20, verse 31. But. That's a big but. Amen. But. These are written that you may believe. What are these are written? Pick up your Holy Bible. Praise God. Pick up your Holy Bible. Amen. See, the Holy Bible was written through the anointing of Holy Spirit. It's Lord Jesus Christ now. He is the Word of God. Amen. So God releases this Word and Holy Spirit wrote Jesus on paper. See, the Holy Bible was never intended for us to lord over somebody or even to slap somebody with it. The Holy Bible is an instrument to use to be intimate with God the Father that as you read Lord Jesus Christ on paper that is written through Holy Spirit, hallelujah, it becomes intimate with you where you allow God in a relationship with the Father that you say, Father God, before I read, bless me, Father God, with wisdom. Bless me, Father God, with, with revelation. And not this revelation, Father, rebuke my pride. Father God, for I don't want to know you up here. I want to know you in the Holy of Holies. And Holy Spirit, bless me with your presence that overflows and change my life. Change me, O oh Lord. 
Hallelujah. Can you say that with me, beloved church? Friend? Change me, O Lord. Amen. And this is what happens, what we're reading right now. These are written that you may believe that Jesus is the Messiah, the Son of God, and that by believing you may have life in his name. Amen. Who is the name above every name? You beat me to it, Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. And it says that when you believe in his name, that you may have life. And this life, hallelujah, that we now live, we like to say here at Open Arms Community Church, I am recovered, God had ministry. What we like to say is gooder and gooder. Amen. It just keeps getting gooder and gooder in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. John 10.10, 10, Lord Jesus Christ said, enemy comes to steal, kill, and destroy, right? Steal, kill, and destroy. Hallelujah. I am has come. Who is I am? Who is agape? Father, Son, Holy Spirit. So that we may have life and have it more abundantly. Who is the one that blesses us with the more abundantly? His name is, hallelujah, Holy Spirit. Amen. Holy Spirit lives in and through me. Amen. Can we take a moment to just confess that? Holy Spirit, you live abundantly in and through me. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Get ready, beloved church family. Your life is going to go beyond what you can comprehend, explain, or understand. Because Father God himself, God Almighty, is taking your life and doing what he pleases. And in Jesus' name, what God pleases to do in your life, I'll tell you right now, you could spend a whole lifetime chasing after, and just like that, Father God could say, here it is, in Jesus' name. Amen? Hallelujah, you receive that, I pray you do, I receive it, praise God. If you don't want the blessing, I'll just take it in Jesus' name. Oh, there's nothing there, there's nothing there, praise God. All right, so let's move on, praise God. I said that we had a lot, and the Holy Spirit said, let's get into this, praise God. So I love this word believing here in lesson 21, believing. Say that with me, believing. And I love it because in this word believing, you have that word, that, that word right there in the blue underline, in. Believing in. Amen? Believing in. And this is what I love about true believing and this illustration. Some of you have seen this in the past, but however, Holy Spirit made some significant changes. And remember, Holy Spirit is the teacher. Amen? Holy Spirit is the teacher. Praise God. Holy Spirit started God's hand ministries. Holy Spirit wrote, I am recovered, the worship book. Amen? And Holy Spirit does everything. Praise God. We are just children of God, beloved children of God. They just want to bless Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And we just want to bless Holy Spirit's presence in all of us. Hallelujah. And allow him to do what he does best. Amen. To just flow and overflow through the temple. Blessing us with his presence. Hallelujah. Breakthrough. Say that with me. Breakthrough in Jesus name. Amen. So when you say Jesus Christ is Lord. What takes place is, is that your mind and everything speaks it out. And the word of God says that when you believe it in your heart that Jesus Christ is Lord, salvation comes upon you as a beloved child of God. Can I get an amen? When you actually have that repentance in the temple of God where you know I want nothing, I want nothing, Nathan, I want Nathan to do with this world, nothing. And I only want you, Father God. I'm not going to look back. Amen? I'm not looking back. I'm just staying focused on you, Lord Jesus Christ. Right there what takes place is that as you say Jesus Christ is Lord, as we displayed earlier, you died in Christ and that very next breath, hallelujah, Holy Spirit now lives in the Holy of Holies. And you and I both know that Holy Spirit lives in me. Amen. Say that with me. Holy Spirit lives in me. Praise God. And you are God's beloved child. You are God's temple sealed through him. Amen. And I love this when both connect. You can see the connection. When both connect, there is this power. And I know you saw it on that screen, praise God. There's this power. And this power, Holy Spirit wants to zoom in on this power, amen? Because a lot of children of God question as far as, well, what's this power, this anointing that you're talking about? Well, let's, let's expose it. Let's zoom into this power. When we look into this power in the presence of God in a beloved child of God, this is what you have when you believe with all of your heart and you submit to Holy Spirit in you, and you live this life believing in Lord Jesus Christ. Believing that you believe that no matter what happens in this fallen world, in this chaotic world, Father God, that I'm not a part of, that no matter what, Father, you love me. 
You love me. There's no question about agape. There's no question about your perfect love because Lord Jesus Christ, you already came and died for me and rose again. And it's in that resurrection power that Holy Spirit you lives in me. You live in me, Holy Spirit, and now I demonstrate this power. So we have this zoomed in to look at the power of God. And look, right away, right away, the power of God is who is our God. We like to say agape, amen, agape. Who is agape? Father, Son, Holy Spirit, amen. Why is this so important as we live this vapor of a life in this fallen world? Because we are made in his image, amen, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, praise God, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, amen, soul, body, spirit, hallelujah, soul, body, spirit, amen, soul, body, spirit, hallelujah, soul, right, soul, spirit, body, hallelujah, we mix it up however way you want, but we are three-part being, praise God, and this is who agape is, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, let's go on, praise God. Once you have that life-changing revelation of your identity in what Lord Jesus Christ did for you, believing, say that word with me, believing, hallelujah, you are beloved, amen? You have a relationship with God Almighty. You worship God, hallelujah, every moment of every day, amen? Praise God. That's a lot of every, amen? I mean, every breath, every moment, you're just constantly, consistently, Always, however you want to say it, just mindful of Lord Jesus Christ because you died. And you're so thankful that you didn't die and go to hell. You died and Holy Spirit said, here you are, mine, my eternal beloved child. Amen. Next, anointing. You have the anointing of Holy Spirit set apart. Amen. You have the anointing of God. You have the power of God living in and through you in Jesus' name. Amen. Manifestation. You have manifestation of God's presence in your life. Praise God. You have the overflow of Holy Spirit. You have the overflow, hallelujah, of, of agape, of joy, of love, of peace. Amen. You have the breakthrough in your life. Deliverance takes place, hallelujah, not only within the temple of God because Holy Spirit lives within you, but the deliverance takes place because his light shines through you that God, hallelujah, say it with me, God, God cleans the house, amen. God gets rid of things that does not belong in Jesus' name. And we discuss love, joy, peace. It, we love to say once again, it just gets gooder and gooder, hallelujah, in Jesus' name. And it's the truth, amen. God is the only one good, praise God. And we love to say as his beloved children, it just gets gooder and gooder. Why is that? It's his presence continuously overflowing. Last time I checked, how does, a, how does a glass overflow? There has to be a constant, amen? There has to be a constant source, praise God. And that constant source is worship, is a relationship, amen? Is getting intimate, amen? Speaking, thanksgiving, hallelujah. I like to say thanks living, right? You're just living in thanks, praise God. Oh, I'm so excited, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's move on. Praise God. We got a lot to go through. I love this overlay. Praise God. I know you can probably see if you can't. Let, let me see. Praise God. I pray you can see that right there. That is a worshiper. Hallelujah. A worshiper being thankful for Lord Jesus Christ. And within, this is Holy Spirit's light shining through a beloved child of God. Praise God. Now this is what we're going to uncover. And this is where we're going to get kind of, well, we are going to get deep. And it's going to be a little, a little difficult. Amen. But we have to be obedient in what Holy Spirit wants. A big part of being a child of God and being in this anointing through Christ and being accountable to Holy Spirit and living a life, a victorious life through Christ is exposing, say that with me, exposing the enemy. Amen. It's allowing God's light to shine through you in obedience and exposing this enemy. So what we're going to talk about is not believing. Amen. Not believing. And the truth is, when you're not believing, this is what happens, and this is the illustration that Holy Spirit made changes to so that we can worship accordingly in this service, but at the same time have visual aids so that Holy Spirit will adjust the temple and flow freely through. Amen? You see, we live in a world right now that religion is running rampant, cults, right? All these, and I stress cults, demonic things running around. 
And everybody, everybody likes to say that, yeah, I know that Jesus Christ is Lord. Unfortunately, you have children of God that believe this way. Yes, Jesus Christ is Lord. But then you also have the world that knows, yes, Jesus Christ is Lord. I just don't receive him. Amen. Now, face value, you may think that, okay, well, that's two different things. But what Holy Spirit's going to reveal and expose to us is that it's not different. And this is what God wants to show and expose the devil and his deception. Amen. Say it with me, Holy Spirit, teach me. Hallelujah. He will in Jesus' name. Amen. So this shows as far as when somebody knows or says or identifies Jesus Christ as Lord, but in the heart, in the heart, say that with me, in the heart, in the heart where it's in, in believing, it's in, right? This soul, whether it's through deception, whether it's through any kind of religion, whatever excuse, whatever excuse, this is what they believe in their heart. God does not live in me. Listen to the magnitude right now of what Holy Spirit is teaching us. You call upon the name of Lord Jesus Christ, but then you have the audacity to say, yes, I'm saved. Yes, I'm a Christian. Or yes, you know, I got it. I got it going on. I'm good and everything else. But God, you don't live in me. See, right there, I pray that you feel through the anointing power of Holy Spirit, the heartbreak that God feels because that is not God. The whole purpose that Lord Jesus Christ come is so that God can live in you and in me. Amen? Now remember, I know, praise God, who I'm talking to. But at the same time, being obedient to the anointing of Holy Spirit and His wisdom, we do have disobedient brothers and sisters, and I pray, that are listening right now. Because when you have this understanding, and that's all it is, just prideful understanding, that yes, I know this person, his name is Jesus Christ. I know that he died and that he loves me. And yes, Jesus Christ is Lord. But that's where it stops in my relationship with God. Basically, what you're telling God Almighty, what, you're, what the devil is making you believe through deception, is that God does not live inside you. Now let's, let's go into this even further because Holy Spirit wants to address this and expose the devil because remember, when Holy Spirit exposes the enemy, the enemy, he runs. Can you get an amen? The enemy, he tries to, but praise God, I know who I'm surrounded with. I'm surrounded by worshipers of Lord Jesus Christ, beloved children of God. You don't let it get away, amen? You don't let it get away. Holy Spirit, cut off every demonic head in Jesus' name. Amen. You say that for your family. You stand firm through the blood of Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. And you don't allow any of these demons to escape. Can I get an amen? In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. So you see that we went from believing, we went to not believing, right? And then we make this transition into believe that. And this is what God wants to expose, and we have touched on this for the past month now. Amen. And, but this is where Holy Spirit wants to really get intimate with us in worship and allow His presence to change us. Because, see, you can believe that Jesus is that and this and that and this. But if you don't believe in, you're saying that He's not perfect. You're saying that He is not the Messiah because only the Messiah, only the perfect sacrifice of God can tear that veil in half. And once that veil is torn, meaning that God no longer is distant, he is now in every breath in a beloved child of God. Hallelujah. Woo! Give God praise. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. Oh, Holy Spirit, thank you for your presence overflowing. Charge every angel over us, Father. Protect us. All of heaven right now rejoices. Your holy and precious name, Father, we thank you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. So let's get into this because Holy Spirit has all oh, he has so much for us praise God I love it that when God shows us that believe that look at this transition and I pray that you're seeing it over my shoulder when you believe that truly it is not believing now you said brother Joey explain I will in Jesus name amen Holy Spirit teach us hallelujah 
You could say that you believe that, you believe that, you believe that. But until you believe in and it's in you, hallelujah, and it consumes you, it's not believing, right? And so if you notice on the screen, the heart made a turn. That it doesn't even want to plug in with this. The heart now has made a turn. Amen? Say that with me. Made a turn. Amen? And we're going to go to this next slide. What this heart does when someone believes that, God, you're just out there. You don't live in me. Right? I mean, Lord Jesus Christ warned us in John 15, right? John 15, I believe. Yes, John 15, verse 5. Right? We have to remain in Christ. Remain in me and I in you, right? Apart from me, you cannot do anything, right? Well, this is what Holy Spirit wants to teach right now as we get really deep into what agape is exposing. Amen? Hallelujah. Are you excited? I'm excited. Praise God. Now, check this out. So when you say that God does not live in you, now notice, we're talking about atheists. I don't judge nobody, but I'm just saying, if you don't believe in Lord Jesus Christ, then you don't have God living in you. Amen? Now what about those that believe that Jesus Christ is Lord? They believe that. Well, okay, if you believe that Jesus Christ is Lord, do you believe that God lives in you through his Holy Spirit? Now praise God, I know who I'm talking to. I know who, we're one in Christ. Amen? Hallelujah, yes. Holy Spirit lives in me. He is in charge. He owns me for all of eternity. I am his beloved child. Hallelujah. I live the victorious life because, amen, the victor, his name is Lord Jesus Christ, lives in me. Amen. But remember what Holy Spirit, agape right now is exposing. Children of God, listen, you have Jesus Christ as Lord and right now this message is shaking you to your core. Praise God for that. Amen. Because right now Holy Spirit is saying, let me in. Let me in. The devil has deceived you to make you think that you're alone, that you do your thing on your own. No, the devil has been trying to control you. God right now is saying, let me in. Amen. Hallelujah. So check this out. In not believing the heart, the heart plugs into, and look at this box that's going to come up. This is what the heart will plug into without Holy Spirit without salvation through Lord Jesus Christ. This is what the heart plugs into. And if you notice this electricity coming, it's in black. This is the deception. This is, this is just the yuckiness of this world. Sin. Amen? Nastiness, right? Praise God. We don't glorify sin. Amen? We don't even acknowledge it. You know who I acknowledge? Jesus Christ is Lord. Amen? And that's why the victory is ours and sin has no control. But look at what happens when you say that Holy Spirit does not live in my life. That I believe that, I don't believe in. This is what happens. See, smell, hear, taste, touch. This is what the heart will start plugging into in order to try to live a life fulfilling. Notice I did the rabbit ears of fulfilling because it's a deception from the devil. The only one that can satisfy your thirst, his name is Lord Jesus Christ, through the waters from the throne of God that flow freely, his name is Holy Spirit in you and in me. That's the only one that can bless us with the abundant life, the gooder and gooder life. Amen? But when we are disobedient with God, this is immediately how the heart wants to communicate with this flesh. Amen? So notice what happened in this transition on the slides. Remember, this is just calling out anybody right now, anybody. It doesn't matter if they're atheists or in a cult or disobedient or denying God, whatever it is, right? They, they know. Hallelujah. That's why the rapture is taking place soon. That's why we are preaching the way we're preaching and worshiping the way we worship. We're trying to reach out as many souls saying, get right with the Lord. Amen. Ask God for forgiveness. Let Lord Jesus Christ come in so that Holy Spirit can move on the inside and save you for all of eternity and, and come with us when Lord Jesus Christ comes back when that trumpet goes off. Amen. But notice what happens when you don't believe in agape. 
You see what happens to the mind? It's left aside. And look at what's happening to the heart and the flesh. When you believe that, this is what's taking place. We're going to emphasize once again in a disobedient heart, in a heart that is deceived thinking that Holy Spirit does not live in the temple of God. This is what takes place. Look at this. Everyone, every one of those identifiers that are in that box that is charging the heart with sin, it's all driven from the flesh. And that is what takes place when someone is struggling. Listen, beloved church family, you know my fruit for those of you, hallelujah, that are planted here. For those of you, praise God, who are rooted. You know my fruit. We don't judge nobody, amen? We don't judge nobody. But remember, what God is doing is exposing how the devil will make a soul go in tormented in their thoughts. Go in tormenting thoughts, be, in, be depressed, be consumed, right, with those things. Say it with me, no more. Hallelujah. No more in Jesus' name, amen? You could see as far as what takes place when there is no reverence, when there's no surrender, God, you are my God. I see what you did through Christ my Lord because you love me. Lord Jesus Christ, you had all the authority from heaven to kill every one of us, but you didn't. You died an excruciating death, tortured for me. And Lord Jesus Christ, I receive you fully. I died in you. And I thank you, Holy Spirit, that now you live in me. You live in me. Your spirit, Father, lives in me and has complete control of me. In Jesus' name, amen. So we examine both, praise God. And I pray that you can see this overlay, but we're going to make it a little brighter right there. And what Holy Spirit wants to think as we wrap this up, praise God, hallelujah. I pray that God is just blessing your socks off as he is mine right now as I stand before you, amen. Listen, I'm a worshiper just like you, praise God. And I'm so thankful that Holy Spirit's teaching us. If you can't see this, this picture, I pray it's going to be on your screen so you can see it. But this is a soul that's drowning. You can see his hand. And what Holy Spirit wanted to just plant this seed to change our life for all of eternity is same thinking produces the same results. The same believing produces the same results. The same believing produces the same fruit. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ said that. You cannot plant, right? You cannot plant a lemon tree, right? Wait, wait however many years and expect apples. Right? I love moments like this because <laughs> glory to God. God has got God, God you know, He just loves to make his children laugh and overflow. Just oh my goodness, it's, it's beyond words, it's beyond expression. Amen. But I love moments like that because it's like a no dumb moment, right? And the only way that we can actually change the fruit of our life is complete surrender unto Lord Jesus Christ. See, the devil tries to deceive us thinking that, yeah, when you get, you know, if, if you do this, you'll get better. No. Nope. You notice that the devil will always try to put it on you to make the change. But the moment you say, Lord Jesus, help me, the devil runs. In Jesus' name, the devil runs because the blood of God, hallelujah, covers you. And Holy Spirit now says, what do you need, my child? Amen? What do you need? What can I do for you? Praise God. So God has exposed what takes place in a soul in believing that versus believing in. Amen? And I love the overlays that, that Holy Spirit blessed us with. Praise God as a beloved child of God. How we live the victorious life. Amen? I pray in Jesus' name, hallelujah, always, the name above every name, the only name that I know how to pray in, amen, Lord Jesus Christ, that you have received a fresh anointing from Holy Spirit, and that you have allowed God to just flow through you like never before. Beloved church family, you may have been a Christian all your life, that don't mean nothing. Today is the day, right now, in this moment, we're going to close out in prayer, but I just pray right now through your personal relationship with God our Father, 
that you just do a self-examination and allow God's presence to flow through you. Allow him to renew your mind, amen? And just allow God to just bless you with his peace overflowing that only comes through Holy Spirit, amen? Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for all of eternity. We worship you, Lord Jesus Christ. Father, you have all the glory, honor, and praise. And we just thank you, Father God, that you have sealed us through the anointing of your Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, thank you for teaching us. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for sealing us, that you know us by name. And thank you so much, Father God, that you've charged all your angels over us to fight for us and protect us. And Father, I just thank you that your presence goes before us, pushing evil far, far, far away from us and cutting off, Father God, every demonic head, Father, through the power of Holy Spirit. We thank you, Lord Jesus Christ, that we are your body. And we thank you so much, Father God, that your love, hallelujah, agape, that your light shines through us for all of eternity. We thank you, Father. Bless us, Father God, with your presence overflowing. We love you with all of our heart, soul, mind, and strength. And it's in Jesus Christ's holy and precious name we pray. And all God's beloved said, amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Give your wife or husband a high five. Praise God. Amen. If you're by yourself, you're never by yourself. Holy Spirit's in you for all of eternity. But praise God. Let's just bless God and make God laugh. Amen. Give yourself a high five. And don't forget the angels of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Give them a high five. Praise God. Love you so much, beloved church family. Thank God for you. Hallelujah. I thank God that you choose to bless God the way you do. Amen. And thank you so much for being a blessing to one another. We love you so, so very much. Praise God. We pray for y'all more than every day. Amen. Trish and I, Pastor John, Pastor Mary, all the elders, hallelujah, and all your deacons. Let's all pray for one another. Amen. Amen. We are one in Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Love you, beloved church family. Remember, rejoice. Hallelujah. <laughs> rejoice. Amen. God bless you guys. Love you so much. See you in the next half an hour. Amen. Mwah!